She says, yeah, I got everything. I was like, um, well, when do I start? <laughs> you know, she's like, I don't think you're ready yet. Sandman was on fire, and so I thought, my career is set. I'm going to be doing Sandman, and so um, I'm. And Laura and I are, you know, jumping up and down, hugging each other. Yay! And this is before. I mean, she's still working at a jewelry store at this point. But um, I had quit my job in broadcasting to come back uh, on the strength of a series for Kamiko, a 12 issue series that then Kamiko went bankrupt. So I'm stranded. But then this life. You know, this life preserver comes flying at me from Neil Gaiman. And so, yay, it was the right thing to do. Chris, gonna be great. So, um, he says, I'll have my editor, Karen Burton, call me. So, uh, Karen calls me. And then I'll go ahead and you gotta go through that effort to make guys. Karen uh, calls me and asks me to do some sample pages and gives me, uh, I think it was the Calliope script. And so she and says, give like, me uh, you know, three pages and uh, take a look at it. And I think this was like a Friday, and, or it might have been a Thursday. But anyway, I thought, weekend, I'm going to have this. So I decided I'll do four pages and a painting. You know, just for me, I'm just always, I'm, I know this annoys the hell out of people. I, sometimes I'm just, ah, just way too enthusiastic for my own good. And this was is an example of that. So I get send the pages in. Figure so she got them Tuesday. Wednesday goes by, Thursday goes by. I'm not hearing anything. So I call her Friday. Just you know, did you get everything? Because I'm thinking she's gonna go. Wow, a painting and look at this guy. You know, look at how he did all this stuff above and beyond and all that. But she says, yeah, I got everything. I was like, um, well, when do I start? <laughs> you know, she's like, I don't think you're ready yet. So, but I'm, and so I'm thinking, but wait, Neil said, Neil wants me. She's like, yeah, you're, you're not ready yet. When I got off the phone, I thought she just said, I hate you and hung up on me. That was, that's how I felt. That's what you heard. Yeah, I never want to hear from you again. That's the subtitle. She, you know, flipped me off and hung up. That's, that's how I felt. But then I dwelt on what she said and um, started to cling to the positive things she said and where I had potential. And then from that, I, I watered those seeds and they grew into this revenge fantasy. <laughs> this was that moment where I had to be my most severe critic. She was right. When I look at when I look at my graphic music work or graphic music, it's very crude. And yeah, I mean, she has a standard that she has to keep. I didn't have the chops, and um, I'm glad it went. In fact, I look at the Golden Boy, and I look, and, and I can only see how it could have made it better if I were to do it now, or even six months later, because I was still learning things, like what tools I was worked best for my style, and. Um, yeah, it, you just don't know what what that one little thing is going to be that puts you in the right direction. But that was that was a crucial moment. That's when I, um, you know, you could say I committed to comics when I quit my job and moved back to the states. But I really started over after uh, after I got that rejection from Karen. That's really where my career went. I really believe that.